Welcome to Anita's Guide to Simple and Easy Cooking. I'm Anita and today I will show you how to sprout mung beans. So let's get started. I've got here half cup of mung beans and two cups of water for soaking the mung beans in. And you will also need a container with a lid or you can use a dish. And I'm using this microwave safe container that comes with a lid that has a vent or you can use a tea towel or even a plate. Take your mung beans in a dish, remove any broken beans or stones, rub and rinse the beans twice or until the water runs clear. Add two cups of water and let it soak for eight to 10 hours or overnight. I like to cover it with the mesh, which is optional. After 10 hours, drain all the water using a strainer and rinse it well. Drain any excess water by letting the strainer sit inside a dish for two minutes. Transfer the mung beans into the container or dish that you want to sprout the mung beans in. Cover it loosely with the lid and keep the vent open. If the lid does not have a vent, then leave a small gap. You can also partially cover it with a plate or even use a tea towel. Leave it on the bench top away from sunlight and let it sprout. On day one of sprouting, this is what my mung beans look like. It has started to grow and have little shoots on them. Transfer them in a colander, rinse it well and let excess water drain off for two minutes. After two minutes, rinse the container, transfer the beans back into the container, loosely cover it and let it continue to sprout. On day two of sprouting, this is what my mung beans look like. The shoots have become longer and I'm happy with the length. My sprouted mung beans are ready, but if you want longer sprouts, then rinse it again, drain excess water off, put it back in the dish and let it continue to sprout until your desired length. You can store the sprouted mung beans in a sealed container in the fridge for up to five days. To use the mung beans, rinse it with hot water and you can use it in salads or you can use it to make curries. Enjoy. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. For more of my simple and easy recipes, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications of my latest videos.